right, hello. Um, today I'm going to be trying out automation. Um, it's a car design game. And you can export your cars into Be Ninja Drive. That's how I found out about it. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on it, and about it. I've wanted to try it for a while, um, but I really don't know the first thing about it. I've seen people make their engines and their cars, but um, now I'm going to try and do it myself. Um, this is probably not going to go great. I know it takes probably a couple hours if you want to really put stuff into it, and I know I'm probably going to be struggling, so it could take me a good deal longer than that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get into the car designer, I guess, and uh, see what I can do. Thinking of something like something basic, like a sports sedan. Maybe something around turn of the century. Oh, it's lagging. Can I just put it in myself, or is it just going to lag every time I click it? I think I'm going to go like to 2000. Oh, yeah, 1999 or 2000. Oh, man. It's chugging. There we go. Let's do 1999. Maybe something like a a German sports sedan, something like that. You know, not super high end, but kind of premium. I like the flares, so I guess I'm gonna do that one. Oh, these all can. Yeah. Okay. Double click, okay. That looks um, kind of funky. The wheels are clipping through, but that's okay. And now we get into the stuff. I don't know, probably, I assume it goes sort of up in premiumness. Aluminum, maybe? Man, I always see videos and they just breeze through this. I want this to be kind of premium. So let's go aluminum. Um, I'd say probably put the quality between well, around five ish in general for this car. Maybe four for the suspension. Yeah, um, three to five ish for quality. Gotta make an engine. Um, let's see. What do I want to call it? Maybe it'll just be the UW6S. And it's going to be the NA99. Sixty degree V6. Um, Oh, how big do I want to make it? I want it to be respectable, you know? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. We could do like 100 and 100. 4.7 liter. So, uh, 
I want it to be rear wheel drive. I hope it'll let me do rear wheel drive. I think it just fills up more room because in front wheel drive you'd have to like turn the you'd have to do a bunch of other stuff to get it to go to the front wheels. Rear, meanwhile, rear wheel drive just shoots to the back. You've got more room back there. So I don't know, 4.7, um, 4.7 V6, V60 degree 6, okay, aluminum, sure. That's not a lot of horsepower. <laughs> Try lowering the compression and ignition timing. Oh, huh. Where's the ignition timing? That doesn't help that at all. So is it 352.1? Yeah, 50 horsepower is not bad. So RPM is too high, duh. Hey, 6,500. There's no real power fall off though. Hmm. But that's honestly a pretty good power curve. At least from what I've seen. Um, that's fine. Space Age. Yep. It looks good. Ah, sounds pretty good. The reliability. Oh, I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, we need to call it something. Uberverx. Um, what's the name be? Um, I hate I hate the German automaker trend of. Oh, let's name our cars numbers. Uh, so, maybe they call it like the Centurio. That one? Yes. Wait, was there another one that it was on? Fastback. And it wanted to be more normal. Body quality, plus four, whatever that means. Now we get to the fun part, design. So I want it to be 90s. I have not downloaded any mods. I think I just want to start with what is presently available in game. Wow, they just got Dodge Charger. Uh, headlights in here. Uh, 
All right, well, I think I designed it to my liking. Um, I'm not sure exactly what theme I was going for, if it really has a theme. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. I got the little badge for that and the badge for that works. Um, you know, door handles, mirrors, gas cap, all that good stuff. Um, exhaust tips. I was having trouble getting the lights to do what I want them to do, so that's why they kind of look a little mismatched. Because I wanted, like, certain ones to be brake lights and other ones to be tail lights. So... That's why some of them look the way they do. I'm going to export it like that and just see if it works. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, if that looks how I want it to and if it doesn't look too bad. I did like a tiny bit of interior work, but it's really nothing special. Um, just some seats and some panels and a steering wheel and all that. Um, yeah, uh, I guess that's... It's got no warnings. I, I did, I put it rear-wheel drive, manual 5-speed, 177 mile per hour speed limiter. That's about what it should be. Um, I'm not going to mess with this. Um, let me see you open this. It oversteers. Sheesh. Um, how can I get it to not oversteer? Well, it is rear wheel drive. Um, it, fun premium. Fun premium. Hey, that's sort of what I was going for. Muscle? Really? That's not exactly what I was going for. I guess it kind of is, but it's just a V6. A 60 degree V6 at the back. Um, if you look, oh, 13 MPGs? Not bad for a sports car. I mean, not good, but not bad. All right, so this is how it turned out when I exported it. Um, I think it came out came out all right. Um, the tail lights are bright. The headlights are bright, uh, but the turn signals kind of work. But the tail lights and the brake lights don't exactly work the way they did in automation. So I may just have to give up on trying to um, configure those how I want them to. Um, I've driven it around just a little bit. Um, the suspension is very, uh, uh, it really likes to bounce a little bit. Um, an open differential maybe wasn't the best idea because um, it likes to lose grip. It does still like to oversteer. Um, and undo steer at the same time. But it's not too bad to drive. So I am going to um, put it on a test track and we'll see how it we'll see how it does. Um, yeah, see what kind of time I can get on the test track. All right, here we are at the test track. It's the same place, um, but I'm going to do a time trial and see what time I get. Um, if I have a really bad attempt, I'll probably just reset and cut that out, but we'll say it's my first attempt.
there's that front end hitting the ground. It likes to do that. Oh yeah, that open differential is really not doing me any favors. Really just gotta treat it with respect. Mind you, I'm controlling this with arrow keys and manual shifting. I either get all throttle or nothing, all brake or nothing. And almost steering or nothing. A one fifty three. Um That was my previous time, a 154. I said I could improve on it, and I thought I did a lot better on that one, but I only shaved off a second. So I'm going to go ahead and say that's the best I'll get it. Well, thanks for watching. Um, uh, watching me struggle through uh, my first automation car. It's kind of generic, but that was kind of the point. Uh, just learning the ropes. And I hope to do more in the future. Um, but I think I enjoyed it overall. I think it I think it turned out alright. You know, there are no major errors or anything like that. So yeah. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time, I guess. So, those seats are not supposed to be white. All right.